Hi, I'm Jay Croucher, head trader of PointsBet. We're here with Battle of the Bets. Two contestants making three picks each. DJ, I'm looking at your face all week. Haven't been able to get rid of you. You keep winning. So what's your first pick? Yeah, I mean, four wins in a row is nice, but a clean sweep of the week would be even better. Baseball's been great to me this week, so I'm not going to mess with what works. To start things off here, I'll take Mets right-hander Chris Bassett to record a win against the Rangers. Bassett hit a bit of a rough patch from about mid-May through early June, but he's righted the ship with a 2.53 ERA. Over his last three starts, he's pitching in the seventh inning in all of them, so that's a big plus for win potential. Meanwhile, Glenn Otto allowed six runs in his return from COVID. Last week now holds a 5.31 ERA on the year. Control has been a big issue for him all season. I expect the Mets offense to take advantage and Bassett to get that win. Oh man, we're reading from the same cheat sheet here because I have the Mets getting to about six runs in this one. I think though that Bassett could get touched up a little bit here against this Rangers batting order. Um, Bassett's hard hit percentage is trending in the wrong direction and I think this is a good spot to back the over. So give me over nine in that same game. Nice. King of the diamond, Drew Dinsick. I love it. What's your next pick, Drew? <laughs> oh, well, you know, fireworks on a Friday as we uh, round into the holiday weekend. I'm going with another over, uh, and I'm going to head to Minnesota, where uh, the unbelievable offensive uh, kind of emergence of the Baltimore Orioles has not gone unnoticed. This team is still being priced like the team that was struggling offensively through the month of April. Uh, meanwhile, I think they are going to absolutely feast on Joe Ryan. Uh, Joe Ryan, uh, you know, he doesn't give up a lot of the long balls, but uh, his you know, his, his expected batting average against, uh, particularly against the type of hitters that he'll be facing with this Orioles lineup does not portend for a tight, uh, low scoring contest. So give me over nine up in the Twin Cities. I'm doing an over two. I'm going with the over on the Yankees run total. They're at four and a half right now against the Guardians. Aaron Savali's on the hill for Cleveland. He's sporting a 7.20 ERA on the year. He's actually been pretty decent in two starts since returning from the injured list, but this still feels like a very low number for the Yankees to surpass. They've scored more runs than any team in baseball. We know that. They've struggled to hit for average recently, but that didn't stop them from setting the record for home runs in the month of June. They should be able to hit this one. Yeah, after scoring one run yesterday and Aaron Judge going over for four, we expect that the Yankees might light it up today. All right, DJ, what's your last pick? Yeah, to carry us into next week, I'm looking for CJ Crone to rescue me again. I uh, recorded at least one RBI against the Diamondbacks. Crone paid off for me earlier this week, going back to him here. The reason's simple, Crone is an absolute beast at Coors Field. He's driven in 42 runs in 41 games there this season. Crone has actually been better against righties than lefties this year, which is relevant with Merrill Kelly on the hill for Arizona. He hasn't been nearly as good on the road this season, has an 8.15 year rate at Coors Field in his career. Look for Crone to do damage tonight. Uh, I can't disagree with that. And now it's, it's good. Now you put me in a tough spot, DJ. I, I have to thread a very thin needle and hope that the Mets somehow drop a loss because I don't see this one not cashing, frankly. I like the over 11 and a half in that game. Um, you know, you have a, a pitcher in uh, Merrill Kelly who, while at face value, looks to at least avoid the long ball pretty effectively. However, he is walking way too many players. And I think uh, you put, you know, ducks on the pond to give a guy like Crone opportunities to uh, not him in he's gonna he's gonna give up some runs and then on the other side of the of the uh, uh equation here uh there you know this uh this rockies both starting pitcher and bullpen look like they are going to give up runs in bunches there's gonna be a lot of crooked numbers in this one so over 11 and a half is solid even with a very high number uh, i think this is a little low considering the conditions out in the uh up in the thin air Okay, three overs for Densick, and uh, it wouldn't be a battle of the bets unless DJ was riding with CJ Crone, his best <laughs> friend. I love it. All right, guys, good luck with your picks. We'll see you back next week. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for all the latest fantasy and sports betting advice from NBC Sports Edge. And don't forget to sign up for NBC Sports Edge Plus to get the best in class draft guides, as well as season long fantasy, DFS, and sports betting tools that will give you the edge.